Hello, I'm Scott with Sean's Photography, and today I'm going to go over the Cheetah Stand LED 308P. Here you can see we have the 308P in front of me. It comes with a handle, it comes with a remote, it comes with a little pouch, it comes with a wall plug, and it comes with an LX cable. It comes with a cold shoe adapter that you can see right here, so we pull that off, slide that on. On the bottom of the cold shoe adapter, it has a quarter inch plug as well as the bottom of the adapter itself that uh, has two swivel points so you can mount it to your stand Let's mount that there this little pouch that it comes with and does not come with a battery um, you have two options to run this off of or three options you can run it off the wall if you have a 360 or a 180 you can use that battery and it'll this is what's going to mount inside this pouch here so we're going to mount that inside the pouch and we're going to make sure that the plug, power plug is facing towards this grommet. Um, on this little pouch you can see it has a little cheetah logo. It has a velcro so you can mount this to your stand, you can mount it to your belt, or you can mount it to your camera rig. Let's plug this LX cable into the uh, power pack here. And we'll plug it back into the back of this. Let's turn this guy on we'll turn away from the camera. And let's run this all the way up to 56. Here you can see the full the back is fully digital. When we want to set the Calvin temperatures, we're going to click this the dial and it's going to blink and we can adjust it up and down. Let's run it actually through those. So here's 56 and we're going to go all the way down to 33. We'll go back up to 56 because that's what I'm running all of the the other three on. Right now we're set at 25%. It goes all the way down to 10% and it goes all the way up to 100. Here we are set on channel 1. It does have, you can set these up for different channels or you can set them up for different groups. When you start setting up in, for me, when I start setting up into groups, I kind of get lost. I'd rather just set them up on channels. So, like my main one over here is set for channel 1. My fill over here is set up for channel 2 and my rim light is set up for channel 3. And I can remotely control all those settings from the remote control. So if I'm in channel 1, I can set it, this one here, and adjust my power up and down, set it over to channel 2, adjust my power up and down, channel 3, adjust my, and then also change my Calvin temperatures on each one independently. Let's shut this guy off. Oh, on the remote, let's go with that too. Um, the remote is the exact same thing as the back of this, except for there's no dial. There's a push set button, so if, when you want to adjust your Calvin, you just hit the set button. That'll blink, and you just roll the or hold it up and down, and it'll s scroll through the uh, Calvin temperatures real quick, as well as we'll go back up to 56. And when you got that set, you'll hit your power or your set button. And then you can use these to control your uh, power settings up and down, and it rolls through it real quick. Go back down to 10%. We'll shut it back off. <clears throat> Here we have the handle. We can actually screw this into the bottom of this. I find that um, the handle is kind of useless to me because basically, if I'm going to hold it, I can hold it by the adapter. It's mounted to the system itself and most of the time it's going to be on a light stand anyway. What's also nice about this system is that it has barn doors so I can actually focus my light where I want it. It does come with a, a diffuser as well as the protective cover so you can take that out if you don't want uh, more diffused light and you want it more intense. Again, like I said, we can focus it which is nice uh, compared to some of the other units like the old, uh, older version of the same unit didn't have the barn doors. This one here has the barn doors, so focusing light is a must. Because when you're focusing with like your rim light back here, you don't want it to spill all over everything. If you're focusing with your main light, you don't want it filling all over the place either. You don't want it filling up your background, you just want it on your subject. As well as um, your uh, fill light, you want to focus it so it's not 
overpowering the background and everything else. Again, my name is Scott with Sean's Photography. This is the Cheetah Stand LED 308P, and thank you for watching.